now it's taking the stream from the webcam uh, hi welcome to this new video tutorial my name is sergio and i help companies students and freelancers to easily and efficiently build visual recognition projects Today we will see an interesting device which is the NVIDIA Jetson Xavier and it's, this is the box that I got and I've had a chance to test this device for some research project I'm working on and I found that it's a great device for its price of around $399 but it offers a great value. So uh, I'm going to give you just some general specs and then we will just ri uh, jump right into the object detection we will see how fast it can run so we can see how many fps and then i will also give you some code that you can download below that you can use to run object detection on the xavier so this is the device and there are many specs i can talk about but the most important for object detection and computer vision is the graphic card memory it has 384 uh, CUDA cores and 48 tensor cores, so much more than the Jetson Nano, is three times CUDA core of the Jetson Nano. It has also 8 GB of RAM, which is a good advantage because you can run even heavier model and it will not just run out of memory. If you want to know more specs about this, I will just leave the link on the blog post. I will put some specs on the blog post. Uh, I don't find useful telling a lot of specs now because we don't need them. And after this, I'm going to connect the Xavier to the computer and I will show how to run the object detection. So let's start. I'm running right now a clean version of Ubuntu from the Jetson Xavier. So this is the uh, jetpack downloaded from the NVIDIA website. I'm not, I will not go into the details of the installation of the SD card because that's not the purpose of the video. But once you prepare the SD card, this is as it is from the beginning. So I haven't done anything else and I will show you all the installation step by step to run object detection. We will be using the Darknet. Darknet is the framework made by the founder of the deep learning algorithm YOLO and we will use that one. So I have a file right here installed Darknet where I have the instructions, the code that I want to copy, but for you, uh, you'll find the same instructions. I will put them on the blog post so there will be all the sections on the post where you can copy the code. Let's start from, with the terminal. Terminal. Now on the terminal as first thing we want to update everything. sudo apt get update. So this is uh, the new paste the password of your user and we go ahead. So this is a default operation that normally we do on Ubuntu to update all the libraries that are there. And most likely you will find always something to update. In my case, I didn't find anything. Okay. Now we need to go on the second step, which is to export the CUDA path. By default, it has CUDA 10.2. So let's take this line right here paste the line okay i am covering the the terminal so let's move a bit here okay and paste the line so let's go with the next one copy and paste Uh, now we are going to download the darknet from github. Uh, it's all, only one line for that one. So git clone and uh, I'm going to paste this right here. Git clone github alexei ab darknet. It's only a few megabytes so the download will be quite fast. Now once we have the darknet we enter inside the folder. We just type cd darknet. I want just to show you that we made the download. So here we finish the download of the darkness. So if we go on the files, I open this one and among the folders, you see a new one, which is called darknet. You see this right here because we have just downloaded it. Now we access inside this folder from the terminal. So the command will be CD darknet, which stands for change 
directory, cd change directory where we want to go inside darknet. And when you see slash darknet right here, it means that we are inside the darknet folder. Now that we are on the folder, we can make other changes. Uh, okay, first we have also a couple of files that we are going to download. I have them right here. This is the deep learning model that we are going to use as a testing. So we're going to use YOLO version for scaled. So this is the first one. And there are different um, models that we can use on the darknet. All like Vo YOLO v4, YOLO v4 tiny, so the real light version which has more precision but it's much, much faster. And there are also other YOLO v4 versions and we're going to use now just one of them and later we might try uh, also something else. So we downloaded a YOLO version for scale it and now we finish the third step. Now let's move to the fourth step. We need to enable the GPU, the graphic card on the darknet. Why the GPU? Because that's why we got a Jetson Xavier in the first place to get use of its powerful GPU with 384 CUDA cores. Uh, so I have, I don't know what's happening right here, the computer has only 605 megabytes of disk space. Okay, ignore. Uh, okay, sudo v make file, we're going to edit some information on the make file. So we paste this right here. Now, GPU. We have a few things that we want to change. Uh, now to start editing the file, let's press the letter A on this Veeam terminal. So with GPU, do we want to enable? If we want to enable uh, the setting that we see on the line, we put one, otherwise one, it means that it's disabled. Uh, GPU one CUDNN, yes, CUDNN is to run the CUDA graphic card, also CUDNN ALF precision, not all graphic cards support this operation, but the NVIDIA Jetson Xavier does support this operation, so we can enable this one. OpenCV, do we want OpenCV enabled? Yes, OpenCV is installed by default on the Jetson Xavier image, and it will allow us to run the video in real time. And all the rest, uh, it's something that we don't need. So now I press ESC, and then Shift ZZ to save this. So this is how you save files with uh, the Vim editor. Also, you can, um, if you have some hard time using the sudo v make file editor, you can just go inside the folder darknet and you find right here a file which is make file and you can just edit this one with the text editor. So you open with, well, I don't see any text editor. <laughs> Probably you need to install the text editor, but that's where you get the file and you can use any editor you wish to edit this file. Oh, after we are done with the make file, so the GPU once, now is the fifth step. We need to compile this. And we can just type make. And let's run this one. Uh, this is going to take around five minutes or less for compiling this. And theoretically, if everything goes smoothly as we hope it goes and as it should go, we will be able to run already the object detection with the darknet and we will be able to test it. So I'm going to pause this and I will be back when everything is completed. The installation is finished, it took around 5 minutes, uh, even less. Now we're going to test. We can test this in real time by using either a video file or even a webcam if you have a webcam connected to the Jetson Xavier. I have both of them, so we'll test both of them. Uh, I'm going first to start with a file, it's just a video that I have downloaded. So this is the video, I put the video on the darknet folder, so home, darknet, then I put a video which is called jump underscore water dot mp4. You can download and put any video you want. This is the video that I have that I'm going to test right now. Uh, 
and what I will do, I'm going to copy the line to run the video. And by the way, also this command will be on the blog post. So you just copy this exact command and it will run the video. Of course, you need to change the, the name of the video, uh, depending on the video that you are using. So I'm going to copy this line right here. I'm going to paste the line jump water dot mp4 and let's run this one so now it's loading the yolo model on the memory uh, it it has been loaded already and now we will see this so it's processing around fps you see around six frames per second you need to consider that also the video is um, is not so fast itself, so see that's why we see it even slower than it was already before. Six frames per second, it's not bad considering uh, that it, this is a heavy, uh, heavy model, so uh, it's not uh, bad at all. Um, only there is some problem with uh, it doesn't display so smoothly even if it's processing six uh, seven frames per second then it doesn't display the result uh, smoothly so there would be this of course I'm just running the standard version of the darknet of course it can be improved with uh, maybe other installation and uh, different libraries so this is just more more a test that I'm doing now I'm going to run this with the camera. I'm going to copy this one to run the camera and I'm going to paste this one right here. So now the camera is going to be uh, probably full screen FPS 0 0.2 Well, the camera is processing much slower but the model is the same, it processing much slower only because it has a lot of information to show on the screen it, it's, a, it's taking a big frame from the webcam and then it's freezing So it's not probably the best representation of the uh, Xavier, what I am doing right now. Generally, I have to say that it works well also with heavier model like I tried Mask RCNN and was working well like on the Jetson Nano, it doesn't work or other small devices. Like this is one of the best that you can get uh, really on the market right now. So uh, you can most likely improve the camera, maybe shrinking the size of the camera before displaying this on the screen. Now, uh, just to make things look better, I'm going to take a, a smaller model, which is the YOLO version for Tiny, so that you will see how well it can handle this in real time. Uh, I've just added here the links to get the uh, YOLO version for Tiny. And then, of course, for you, I will put the link on the blog. So I'm going to download this right here, and then I'm going to download the model. So while the uh, the other model was around 200, probably 202 megabytes, this one is just uh, 21 megabytes, so it's 10 times lighter than the previous. And now let's run this. So I'm going to run this uh, in real time with the camera. Simply here, instead of loading YOLO version for CSP, which is the scaled version of YOLO, I'm going to download YOLO version for Tiny and then YOLO version for Tiny which are the files that I have just downloaded. So I'm going to call the configuration file and the weights file. And then I can press enter. So if we don't get any error, it means that we're loading the files correctly. Now it's taking the stream from the webcam. 
and it's able to for sure process more information than before the webcam it's all about the size of the video because this the graphic card can process much more than than what you see so if you set the webcam only on 680 by for uh, 640 by 480 or only hd size will work definitely much faster so now i don't have the option to do that probably there is no option from these commands uh, let's test the same on the video that we were running before so i'm going to take the same video okay this one uh, let's run this jump water but instead of yolo version 4 csp let's run yolo version 4 tiny and then yolo v4 tiny okay this run are uh, definitely a uh, high speed we see even more than 30 frames per second around 35 frames frames per second so definitely you can run the tiny version of yolo in real time while you can get from the other versions of yolo around seven frames per second which is not so bad so even if you have a project or we want to use the xavier as a security camera with seven frames per second you can definitely go, uh, do uh, a good job probably even less frame and uh, uh, different security cameras take different frames rate but it's usually low frame rate that uh, you get so this is all that i have today as a test of the jetson xavier uh, please let me know in the comments if you have the chance to test it and what is your feedback regarding the jetson xavier i want to let you know also that i have more professional courses if you want to become a developer of computer vision and you want to learn the proper way to run the object detection object segmentation and the proper way of creating a building from scratch computer vision projects uh, please check my website pysource.com this is all for today remember to subscribe to stay updated with the channel and all the new content that i'm going to upload and see you on the next video